so we woo. <laughs> <Cut. laughs> Good morning. Right. <laughs> and today we are here at the Efteling. So I'm going to take you guys with me to see how the corona affects the team parks. But let's see. So the first ride we are going to do today is the Fata Morgana and it's about 1001 Arabian Nights. <laughs> it's like a dark ride in a boat, so it's something like Pirates of the Caribbean or it's a small world, you can compare it with that and I'm going to take you guys with me. we are going to do is Carnival Festival and if you thought that the song from <laughs> It's a Small World was annoying then wait for this I will take you guys with me but maybe you should turn down your volume And now it's time for the Vogel Rock bird skirt. I don't know. Bird skirt. <laughs> so, free blow dry of your hair. We got to go twice because it's not that busy, especially at the Vogel Rock, it was pretty quiet. Um, due to the coronavirus, they only allow a third of their normal capacity into the park. So yeah, some rides are a bit busier than others, but this was okay. We could have done it twice, but I was done with it. <laughs> yeah, and it has to be fun. So, but we were in the front. Yeah, two times front row. Woo! So when we go back again, probably later today, then we need to sit at the back. Yeah? Yes. Okay. yes, 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 <laughs> yes. And now we are on our way to the Droomvlucht. Probably, we think. Uh, an English dream flight? No idea. But it's, it's like a, a flight to your to your dreams. To your imagination. It's like a fairy tale kind of ride. It's a dark ride and. Can you go right or left? Uh, uh, I don't right. know. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <surely>. <laughs> but um, it's a dark ride. 
with all kind of fairies and cute thingies and he barely broke his bike I think <laughs> oh well and uh, oh oh drone flucht here it comes uh, well we always get lost in this park so yeah sure. thanks to the thingies wegwijzers I don't know the English word for it but the, the waypointers <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, we can find a way, so yeah. <laughs> Now we are going on Villa Volta, but we're not allowed to film in there. It's about a cursed house that turns upside down and... Just see the videos. They're illegal, but you can see them. <laughs> you can find them on YouTube, but maybe I will explain the story later. But for now, we're going to do this ride. So we just went on Villa Volta and you're not allowed to film inside so a bit of a background story it's about Hugo from the Loos Daring yes and he was in this criminal group called the Bokke Riders and they and the story just... took place in the middle 8th centuries yeah so quite a while ago and they robbed stole from the rich people not like in Peter Pan they were not good no, no. they just stole <laughs> they were just bad and um, well, they uh, one day they came to a chapel, a chapel, and in they Belgium. saw all this gold and chandeliers and everything, and they decided to steal it. But then a mysterious woman appeared and laid his hand on his shoulder and told him that if he robbed the church, he would be cursed forever. Yeah, and. Um, when he came home, uh, the woman was on his house and she told him that he will never have peace in his own house or anywhere in the world. So she made his house turn upside down so he couldn't sleep or rest or have peace anywhere. So yeah, don't steal.
So we went on the Flying Dutchman or Vliegende Hollander. Sorry about a, a, a shipper who failed for the. Uh... Well, it's a shipper's company for. Um... So uh, we forgot the story about the Flying Dutchman. We didn't tell you the story about the Flying Dutchman. Vliegende uh, Hollander in Dutch. Uh, because it didn't go well because we had to pee and. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's then. why. <laughs> So we're gonna start tell you it now. Uh, it's a story about a sail sailor who um, sailed for the uh, the VOC. It's a uh, um, it's a D Dutch brand in the middle eight centuries. How do you say it? Yeah, I think like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, and um, the uh, the sailor um, wanted to sail on uh, Eastern to um, Cape of Good Hope. Um, but his men uh, who were on board didn't want it because there was a storm and it was pretty unsafe to sail. Yeah. Um, but he refused to listen to his crew, so they sailed out and anyway. And uh, then, because he didn't listen to his crew, he got cursed and uh, he needed to sail forever. So that's the story. You also see the story in Pirates of the Caribbean, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> Will Turner or <laughs> Davy Jones, spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> So, we're on our way to Joris and the Draak. <laughs> Joris and the Draak, or Joris and the Dragon, whatever you want to call it. And now this is a wooden ride, or how do you call it? And you have two cars next to each other and you have to race, or well, the ride does that for you, but you're racing against each other in the color red or blue. And one will win, but who will win? And will we win? Maybe. Maybe. However, I'm not allowed to film on this ride, so... It's probably for the best, because otherwise you would lose your camera. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, let's... lost on Joris and the dragon unfortunately blue was quicker than red and we were in red so but we were again in the front so yeah it was pretty fun and she ate flies so <laughs> nice lunch That's fun. and now we are on our way to the baron which you can see here and every time I go on that I'm like why am I doing this because it's pretty high and fast and intense, but can you make a 90 degree drop? Eh. Yeah, I will pop in a little clip of the the what fall you make at the beginning. But anyway, time to wait. We survived the Baron, barely. Now we're eating a swirl, and we are now entering the fairy tale forest or Sprookjesbos. And I'm glad they actually have arrows now because I always get lost in here. 
so I don't know the last time I went to see the fairy tales. One time we were brave enough to try and go in here again, but they called out that the park was closing <laughs> and we didn't know where we were. I think we've seen Rapunzel about 50 times or something. Yeah. We got stuck there, so hopefully the arrows will lead us to all the fairy tales now. <laughs> 